Sorry, guys, we're fixing the sound. All right. I got my mics back, so now I get to play with them. Is it scratchy? I can't hear it. Is it echoey? It's scratchy. Oh, uh, it's probably me shaking around. I'll just put it on my hat. Like um, well, welcome to our Saturday Night Thrift Hall. We go live every Saturday night at 8.30 Mountain Time, and we show you the junk that we purchased out thrifting or, I don't know, on the side of the road, and we tell you what we paid for it and what we're going to sell it for. And we just got new mics, so we're trying to figure out the sound. Well, the old mics broke, and they sent them back, and so now I have to adjust all the settings again. Is that better? Can is you guys let me know it? if the sound is better? I'll wait in the comments and we'll see. <clears throat> but, um, so we're super excited tonight because Zeb and I went out of town to go pick up my mom and dad. For those of you that don't know, my parents are in their 80s and they live with us. And they've been out of town for about eight weeks. My dad wound up having a heart attack. And oh, sounds better. Okay, perfect. Must have been me. Um, my dad had a heart attack and complete kidney failure because he had a antibiotic that did not do well on his kidneys. And so it's a miracle that he is back to health. And we wound up having to drive down there and pick him up because my sister got sick. And so we made a 22 hour or something drive in two days. And Caitlin was awesome. Her and Ivy went thrifting for us. So except for like four or five items, Caitlin and Ivy thrifted everything. So a huge shout out to them. And I'm super excited to ship. Hold on, try that again. I'm super excited to show you what we got. She got distracted by the skipping basket when I held it up. She's like, what are you doing with it? So on with the thrift haul now that the mic is fixed and everybody knows what's up. This was a dollar at the DI. Good price, great find, Caitlin and Ivy. Um, $19.95 is what we're gonna sell it for. It's got two handles, it's a great shape. It has a clasp in the front, good coloring on it and very functional. It's, I would Very say it's functional. like a wine basket. Like it would fit one of those round wine bottles in there. Oh, maybe. Let's see how it skips. If you guys are new here, the way that you can shop is Caitlin is... You can keep going. I'm watching you in the camera. Uh, <laughs> Caitlin is... You got to get your arms high. Caitlin's Knees dropping up. links. But you can also go to Jamie Ray Vintage and under Saturday Thrift Haul, all the items are there as well as any past Thrift Haul items that haven't sold yet. So that we always get asked how to shop along. And a lot of people are on here not to shop, just to hang out and see what we find and what we price stuff at. And that's fun too. I would actually majority of people are here for that. And we always have a good time. Zeb's always skipping or something. I haven't skipped in a long time. I've been mm -hmm. holding out. All right. I'm going to show this. I look tired. I just put my makeup on, Grandpa. Actually, um, I'm due for a little bit of touch up under my eyes. It's happening tomorrow. No, Monday. Ask me next week if I look better. All right. So this is a hand-carved wooden swan. I was told I had to call it a swan. That's what it is, and it's awesome. And I think the neck, I think it's all one piece of wood on the bottom, and then the neck was added in, because that would be like a huge chunk of wood just to get the neck on there. But really great piece. We're going to leave it. It's a nice, light wood Good shape to it. We are going to have to use a magic eraser because it had like an R on there. I got, I picked it up at Goodwill in Arizona. This is one of the few things I bought. And I think I bought it for like 4 or $5. Not much. Yeah. And swans, look up hand carved. Just Google hand carved swan. I didn't find any for like under 70, 80 bucks. And some of them were way higher than that. And this one is $34.95. And if you've been waiting for the thrift doll to go live, it just went live a minute ago. So if you logged in, and you couldn't see the updated stuff. It is now updated there now. So we're selling this. Jamie got it for four or five bucks. Can't remember because it's been a couple weeks because she bought it when she was in Arizona visiting her dad the first time. When he was in the hospital. When he was in the hospital. And then I, she flew back. And when we went down there to get them, we grabbed her stuff. So this I, is thirty four ninety five. I was staying nights with my dad because he had high potassium and his kidneys weren't functioning. So he would flail and try to get up in the middle of the night. So my sister and I alternated um, staying with him. Anyways, my mom was with him during the day and we didn't have anything to do. So we went thrifting. So someone, I think their comment scrolled by. I can't see it anymore. Leslie wants to see that basket. She says she thinks Asked if it was American. a sweet grass basket from South Carolina. There's no branding on it anywhere. So your guess is as good as mine. You can label it and call it whatever you want if you get it and put it in your home. It's a sweet basket because it's awesome. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> it does have kind of some geometric shapes on there. 
in the weaving, they use some different reeds. So, uh, Sally Bonswell, super chat. I'm so glad your parents are home. We are glad too. I'm also glad that Zeb is amazing at driving in the snow because we drove through a horrible, horrible blizzard. Um, little uh, PSA Wasn't if you live where there's snow, have great tires, it makes a lot of difference. Yeah, as I, you know, I was a tire guy for 15 years. Like, I see what happens to people's cars when they don't have good tires. <laughs> Leslie says that it's native wrapped with sweet grass. Are we going to show these right now? I'm not. I'm just teasing them out. We're also going to show there was a little bit of a new stencil release. We haven't really talked about it much, but it's happened. What, Thursday they went live? Yes. So some new stencils up on the website. These are by Mara, and she's got some great designs this time around. We work with her, and it's really fun. And we're going to show those a little later and use yeah. them. Use some tonight. So stay tuned for that. All right. So Odilia was like, I love what Kate Oh, it doesn't Lynn, smell good. The, the basket? basket? I don't know. You show them that. I'm going to smell the basket. I don't know. There's a lot of information being needed about this basket. It's cool shape. We don't, I don't think we've ever had one I like that. I don't know. That. I don't think it smells at all. No. There's no scent to it, really. It doesn't. Oh. Yeah, it does smell sweet. Okay, maybe a little bit. I can't tell because my hair smells so good. It's not enough aroma that it's going to like, if you put that in your house, you're going to be able to tell. <laughs> but this is enamel. And yes, throwback to the 70s on the green color, but it's back and it's back strong. Like it's so popular right now. And this also comes with its ladle, which... You never know. happens like the fact that we have the bottom the top and the ladle to the this ladle enamel. by itself it's metal and enamel you could buy these for like 10 or 15 bucks just the ladle i have there's one in the pantry oops i banged it i bought it because i have a french enamel like uh utensil holder and i need the utensils and i i paid a good amount for them all right so <laughs> this i'm trying to see I, jamie had to peel a bunch of stickers off to take it was pictures. ten dollars ten dollars there you go we're and selling it for 29.95 it's in great shape. Needs a little scrub. It has been loved and used, but just the whole piece is great. There's like, it's in Ivy's, really, really great shape. Ivy's tempted to buy it. I'm like, Ivy, why didn't you just buy it when y'all were shopping? <laughs> she had to, she had to bring it here. She was using, she was using the company credit card. <laughs> Robert Gloria <laughs> says gravy bowl. Hey. You know, at our house, legit, that could be like if I get gravy. four biscuits up on there, I need two scoops. Yeah, we, I would. I want to make biscuits and gravy, but we're trying to keep my dad's blood sugar down. So I need to wait until he has consistent low blood sugar days and we figure out exactly how many carbs he can have. And then I'll bring out the biscuits and gravy. I, Caitlin says, too bad you missed your chance. <laughs> <laughs> Caitlin's hardcore. If it doesn't sell, you can visit it at the shop, Ivy. All right. So this is a Crownland oh. Forma Filigree 600, dishwasher safe, oven to table, ironstone made in New Zealand. Okay. So I had no idea. Pattern super popular. I found two for $50. Wow. Um, and everything I found with this particular pattern and this particular brand, all super expensive. So I'm selling the one plate for $19.95. Let me see if I can get it to focus. It, there it goes. It's pretty good. Yeah. It's just like a really fine, almost like a pencil drawing on here. And I love it. It's like those new um, single needle tattoos that are really popular. It's just like a really th fine, thin line. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's really cool. Very cottage core. Like a lot of things that I, there, it must be like a style that Caitlin and Ivy are drawn to because they picked up most of this stuff and it's all super cottage core, which I love. Apparently, there's a lot of uh, need for mugs at both of their homes because we have a lot of mugs, hey, which they're cool. They're good. Wendy it says is... that she made my biscuit recipe and it was good. Oh, nice. It's up on the Instagram. Nice. It's a good biscuit recipe. All right. I've got a couple plates here. So this one, I don't know. How much was this? A um, dollar. This was a dollar. Uh, we're selling it for six ninety five. It says Colonial Homestead by Royal. Underglaze circa 1950 patented is what it says on the back. And then it's just like a little cottage scene. Total. If that was, if that's not cottage core, I don't know what it is. The green, the cream, the subject matter. And all of these are one. still usable. Like they're still good usable plates. If you don't want to just like display them, you can use them in everyday use. We're going to switch from cottage core to Americana. 
and even better yet, Avon Kana. Avon Kana. <laughs> Can we make that be a thing? This one I feel like was a little spendy for what I looked at the value of it. Um, it was four ninety nine, and we're selling it for eight ninety five. But Caitlin did get twenty percent off, yep. so that made it actually about four dollars. So we're more than doubling our money on it. So that's still a good buy. That does make it four dollars. I know. I did the math. It actually makes it four dollars and like one cent. But it does yeah. have the hanger on the back if you want to display this somewhere or use it for Fourth of July kind of kind of celebrations, things like that, or all year round if you're patriotic all year round. That's a thing. Cynthia says Avon Kohler. <laughs> I made that up like right now tonight. <laughs> if you guys are watching on Facebook and if you can hit that share button, that helps us out a ton. And no matter where you're watching, if you give us a thumbs up, also a super big help. <clears throat> okay. We've got this picture. Did this come from Arizona too? Is this an Arizona find or did they find this today? Um, I bought that in Arizona. Okay. At Goodwill. It was $349. I had a coupon because I was with my sister. It's hand blown and then they etched it. So I looked up hand blown etched glass. It don't come cheap. You got to pay to play, man. Like so spendy. And this one is really special. The picture doesn't like that I took was later this evening and didn't really pick Look it up. How thick the glass, the is. glass is this thick on the bottom. Like I couldn't, I couldn't leave that. I feel like Plus, it's like a magnifying glass. Right. Combine that with gorgeous etching, the thick glass all the way up to the spout is even thick. And then the handle is just like, and it's hand blown. So there's irregularities, there's bubbles. You've got this beautiful, like almost like a, the curves are great. It's just a really good picture. Um, and it's twenty nine ninety five. I forgot to price this one. That's all right. And I paid three dollars and forty nine cents, but less twenty percent because there was a coupon involved. There you go. Ozark Mountain says she needs my shirt. I think Caitlin has the link. We just got these shirts in, and they go all the way up to a three X, and they're twenty six ninety five with free shipping. I'm super excited <laughs> to to have this shirt back because we had a similar shirt, and it went out of stock. And I've been searching forever to find this thing again, and finally, I did. So chicken lamps are a thing. If we cruise through this thrift hall, we will paint this tonight. Jamie I think or for I sure will. we're going to get started on this because I want to stencil. Yeah, it. this is getting stenciled, but we'll show the chicken lamp first. I don't know. Where's the price? How much was this? Six dollars. Six dollars. Because Caitlin texted us to make sure that was okay, and I thought that was a good price. And we're going to sell it for twenty nine ninety five. We are going to attempt to paint the um, lampshade. Oh, we're going to also paint the lampshade. So huh? I don't think the whole project obviously would get done tonight because it's going to require multiple um, coats to cover up that lovely burgundy. Um, well, and it's dusty and it just, it's, it's, it needs painted. Yeah. And I've had some people say, because we've painted lampshades before, someone inevitably always asks, but won't that be a fire hazard? No more than the actual fabric on the lampshade would be. I don't. I think the paint actually has like a, a higher burn point. So, just yeah. Saying. If if it's getting that hot that it's catching on fire, then you've got more problems than than the paint. Another basket, not a skipping basket. May I, I don't think this was. A, it's like wanting to be like a cool trash can shape, but I think this would be cool with some great um faux floral in it or well, even like, like fall I, stuff i like that it's not super wide yeah it's thin so it's narrow you can put floral in here without having to spend a million dollars and it's still gonna look really full i think it would just be great hung on a wall yeah you could hang it yeah it's not so deep that you can't hang it 14.95 and then how much was paid for it it was 5.99 but 20 percent off so it was good so a dollar 20 off of that um Kai, there is a holiday um, prompt, but Odelia has competition that day. Both all the cheerleaders and the, the winter drill team formal. are missing out on winter formal this year because they have competition. All right, let's see what people are buying. So this was five ninety nine. Jamie's going to look at that while I show you this. Um, dishes and wishes. It's a collectible. It has its tin, so you also get a tin with this and a bag. And it's got a piece of paper in here where you can write your name and your wish for the year. So you can use it for one child. Everybody gets a special treat on it. It the, says, happy birthday, make a wish. The brand is Heirloom Art Company. And they retail, I think this like 30 something dollars is what they retail for. So we're selling it for $14.95. And um, they're sold out on their website. So this was a good buy. No one has made any uh, wishes on this. This is yeah. new. 
Yep, and it comes with a great little linen bag. So it would be a really fun like birthday. You can put a little cupcake on there. Kayla says it would be a great plate to let the birthday person have their cake on. Yep. I don't remember how much did I say it was. It's on the front, five ninety nine. No, but how much are we selling it for? Oh, uh, I forgot. Fourteen ninety five. Fourteen ninety five. All right, so let's show this. Twenty nine ninety five is what we're selling it for. It was four dollars at the DI. We're going to oh that bag doesn't come off. We're going to stencil in here, which might be tricky because we thought the bag came off, but it doesn't. But I'm still going to do it. No, we can still do it. Um, we're going to use one of Mara's new stencils that she uh, she makes through us and paint this up because while this is cool. It's I fake. feel like it's faded and it's definitely like kind of pixelated. It's not like a good reproduction print. So we'll paint this all up and stencil it. It's going to be good. All right. So Sarah bought the little drawers and the knob. Can you reach that knob? Oh, the knob is great. Actually a really good price on it. At some point, someone was trying to sell it for $35 in their booth. Um, but it's a really heavy duty glass knob with brass little bit of tarnish on it and then the glass is really thick and solid too yep so it's a complete set um and then how much did we pay for it 4.99 4.99 and we're selling for 14.95 and again that was 20 percent off so so a dollar so it was four dollars and, and then so, this and sarah bought it this was 2.99 and you know love little drawers so great pick here today good yeah. job caitlin and ivy i saw that i was like caitlin and ivy they know what we like the, oh, it also has, we didn't show it, but it has hanging hardware, Sarah. It does, it does have hanging hardware on the back. Um, I think these are big enough. Uh, they're a little small for spices, but you could put some stuff in there. I think you could just put little little thimbles, matchsticks, I don't know, all kinds of fun stuff. But it was two $2.99. So what's 20% off of that? 60 cents off? Um, yeah. Yeah. And All this right. is, we're selling it for $19.95 or sold it for $19.95. Rebecca just bought that basket that we were trying to smell and see if it was sweet. Oh, nice. That's <laughs> a good basket. And Gloria loved the enamel too. The enamel pot has been purchased. No gravy's going in it. <clears throat> no Sorry. gravy in there, Gloria? What are you putting in the pot? Well, you, what are you going to make in it, Gloria? Or is, is it going to be soup? Decor? You know, it's the perfect size for like a nice hearty potato soup. Just saying. Oh, Ivy found the little drawers. Oh, nice. Good job, Sweet. Ivy. Sweet. Um, Delia says we keep freezing. Is it just on um, Facebook or the So Instagram? we have it running live here, and I'm not freezing, but it's hard to say. No, that's just on StreamYard. Yeah, it would freeze there, too. Oh, All right, it? so I don't know who found this, but also... I didn't... Are you touching anything? stuff? Did Caitlin touch it? <laughs> Let me touch it. All right. Let's see how it goes. We should have audio. I don't know what's happening. I'm going to continue on. Can nope, you... it's good. We're good? Yeah. Okay. All right. Caitlin so... hit a button. It was Caitlin! <laughs> so this is brass, and it says Klim on here. Um, and in the upside, on the bottom side, Klim used to be a brand, Accepted Standards, Merrill Sewell powdered whole lactic acid milk protein milk. So it was a milk brand. Um, now so, it's like a it's like a uh, motorcycle accessories clothing brand that I know of. Yeah, I I didn't know the motorcycle accessories, but I did look it up, and it is considered a desk organizer. So that's what I listed it as. It's got places for your paper clips, and then you'd put your little pencil and the little whoopty. And I'm guessing it was some sort of maybe a prize or something for um, administration or like a salesman, desk, like a salesman, whatever salesman perk or something. Let me see if I can get this to focus. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's cool. I like it a lot, but it's 1995. They found it for a dollar. And then we have more, more cups. These have cows on them. Cows on the cups. Um, they're like juice size, but made I think, in Italy. Yeah, made in Italy. I think they'd be great for milk as well. I think they were a dollar each. Yes, they were. Les says that she's glad mom and dad are home. We are happy too. Yeah. Well, they're happy as well. Like dad, he likes to be home. He's kind of a homebody. He is a homebody. He may not be so happy because I've got him on a special diet trying to bring his blood sugar down. But he <laughs> it's funny because he's like, oh, 
like we're driving in the car and we're ordering some food at, at a window and he and she orders him like a salad with steak that they had at Taco Bell. He enjoyed it, but then he wanted like some other things as well. And she's like, no, you can't have it. And he's like, oh. I'm back with the warden. <laughs> I'm good. I told him yesterday, or I told him today, if his blood sugar keeps trending downward, then we'll try some carbs and see how it goes. <laughs> All right. Those sold for $10.95. Um, they're a really great teal color, and I love the cows. They're so cute. I thought about buying them to resell wholesale, but they're just too expensive. But these were a good price, so I thought $10.95 for the pair. So I feel like these really fit into the cottage core thrift decor um, vibe that uh, that's out there because they're kind. Of, they've they've got a good design on them, but I don't know that they fit into farmhouse. But they definitely could lean that way. But they're a little they're a little on the fancy side. I would say kind of Victorian. Yeah. Um, but they're made in Japan, stoneware. They were a dollar piece, and Let's we're selling them this. for nine ninety five. dollars um, Amy, Amy bought that green transferware plate. So nice. Sold. Good job, Amy. Let me see here. Wait for it. Ooh, Lisa got her the hand-blown and etched glass pitcher. Lisa, I know you're going to love it. It's such a great pitcher. So you can see how kind of – it's just like a really delicate design on there. It's very detailed. Any kind of stoneware from Japan is always very collectible. <clears throat> Jamie, it's all for him. It is true. It's because I love him. And I keep telling him, you know, if you're going to keep sticking around and keep, you know, going to where we think you're not going to make it and coming back, then I want you to be healthy, you know, get to enjoy your life. He's like, I'm 88. How many more years am I supposed to get? So, I mean. <laughs> Apparently, and, Jamie's going for 10. Or more. And because of his kidney failure, we have to check his pee a lot. And my mom goes, well, lucky for me, he never flushes. So every day I'm like, hey, mom, what does pee look like? And she knows because he doesn't flush so he can see. <laughs> I don't manage my own menu as well as I manage my dad. So let's just get that out in the open. <laughs> I was talking about that earlier today. I'm like, I wish I was like a cat or a dog, you know, feed me my cup of food in the morning and my cup of food at night. And that's all I can have. <laughs> I need someone to regulate that for me. <laughs> I could do it, but I can't deal with you being grumpy. So Gloria bought that. It's a vintage green cake plate. It's got, it's almost like emerald color is what I would call it. It's really pretty. And he says TMI. Hey, you know what? When you have, when you have kids and then you also have parents that live with you, sometimes that's just life. But I love the design on this. Her and dad's good for it. He'd tell you too. Oh yeah. He wouldn't care. <laughs> I mean kidneys it is what it is but so this yeah. was a dollar 50 at the di and we sold it for 1995 i feel like i could have asked more but we got such a great it deal doesn't on have it. the I dome like that was a, good but a lot of cakes these days no one's leaving them sitting out on their counter like they might be there for a few hours and then they're going to be gone they're going to get eaten i feel like that's that's i mean at least in our house that's what happens like if, if the cake's around for a while then that's an indication that you know maybe something wasn't right with it so Kaylin says that <clears throat> that cake plate was in the yard. Really? It's a weird place for nice. it. But sometimes the yard has pretty glass stuff. Yumiko is the one who bought the um, cow cups. So this has kind of some, oh, that's a good, that's good, Yumiko. Those cups are good. And they're Italian and the glass is a great color. <clears throat> some vintage greens and blues, like you, they don't, they don't quite hit right. And this one is perfect. That's actually the same color as my Moroccan glasses that I have. Yeah. So these are a little more spring vibe, but you know, in three and a half months, when the daisies are starting to push up, you're going to be like, man, I should have got that set. Yeah, spring is coming up. As long as <laughs> Winter's barely started. We best just had our first snowstorm here in the valley. Hey, spring for me starts January 1. It's true. Did we sell the lamb mold? Yes, that sold last week. All right, so there's three of these. They were a dollar each. Okay, they were a dollar each. And we're selling them for $19.95. Yep. That one's a good one. So here's another set of enamel bowls. They're really cute strawberries. This is a duo. And cream because they're cream. Same brand. They're Kobe. Um, yep. And they were a dollar each. And Would this... you say that Kobe? Kobe. There's like a little, two little dots over the E. It's made in China, so I don't know. But they're, it says they're exclusively designed for pennies, but just judging by... The logo, they're probably from like the 80s. Yeah, they're a little older. 
Um, and I'm selling these for thirteen ninety five for the set. Just the two. coloring on them and oh, the hold art. On, it's kind of blurry. I can't stop no. it. Okay. Well, hold it by my face. There just, we go. Just, hold it by your face because it likes. It wants to blur it out. Just no, the coloring and the art on here is indicative of a, a few years ago. You don't really see this now. Yeah. So <clears throat> Leslie's the one who bought the um, hook thing that we're going to be stenciling. Oh, fun. So that'll be fun. Well, it's eight fifty six. We got a we got a few things to go, and then we're going to be painting. Looks like probably for about half an hour here. Yep. We'll we'll paint some stuff. All right. So this is solid brass. It was three ninety nine at Savers, so we got the twenty percent off. Watch for that when you're thrifting. You know that twenty percent off can really like save you. I mean, if you spend a hundred bucks, you it's only going to cost you eighty. Um, but we're selling it for twelve ninety five, and it's got. I can't tell oh, if it's you know etched what? or pressed. I, I think forgot it's... to give them my tax ID. They probably had to pay sales tax on this. Um, Kaylin, remind me if you go again, I'll give you my sales tax ID. Man, you cannot see that etching. Did the pic? Does it show up in the picture on the website? Um, yes. When you go, go so, towards me. So if you go to jamierayvintage no, like com, you can see a good picture of this under the thrift haul. There's a link in the description of the video. I think you can kind of see I'm gonna that. try to bring it close. Tell them about it's this. So cool. While I bring All right, it close. So this is another um, like bowl holder this one was a dollar and we're selling for 12.95 i actually think this is aluminum not um let me see that silver mm, not aluminum it's tin oh it's tin and it's it's got a stamped out design it's embossed it's really pretty and we're selling it for 12.95 that's the one that jamie has this one is also 12.95 so i guess that works all right you can kind of see the design it's it's actually shows up a lot better the camera's just bright and catching the lights. But you can you can see that it's there and it's got these fun handles with go. the flowers on there. Okay, so this one now is blurry. There we go, it's back. So $12.95 is what we're selling it for and Caitlin got it for $3.99, 20% off. I like this because it's more of like a bowl and I like the scallop detail around the edge. It's really, really pretty. Did you show them the big silver plate over there that you keep I haven't. I haven't yet. I have let's, not yet. Let's show them that. That way you can stack stuff on it. Okay. So this, this is this is from Arizona, right? Yep. It was five forty nine, which is a steal for a platter this big. It's got handles and it's got feet. I think these are cute to like do charcuterie trays on, but I also love displays like this with a bunch of drippy candles, some little knicky knacks, mm. some greenery. Like you can really do a lot of things with these. It's a good little riser for your yeah. centerpiece on your table. And I'm selling it for $34.95, which for the size of that platter, I feel like is a really good deal. Uh-oh. Was there damage? Nope. Feet solid. are the best. Like, if a platter has feet, I'm not leaving it at the thrift store. Okay, now I can stack. All right, so these mugs, this is mushroom, cream of mushroom, and it has the recipe on here. Whoops. Hang on. I'll fix it. It looks like Severita got, I probably pronounced that wrong, but Severita, maybe I said it right there, um, she bought the lamp. And she also got the Buenulum silver from last week and the strawberry bowl from a few weeks back. Sweet. Nice. Yeah, so everything, if it's, if it's still in the thrift hall, it means we still have it. Um, or we haven't painted it quite yet. So this is onion soup. And these are, they're a great soup size. I think they're, so uh, I'd probably say 16 used ounces. To have these soup mugs. And I think that's probably why Caitlin got them. They're kind of nostalgic. They were a dollar a piece. Um, they've got the recipe on them, and they're eighteen ninety five for the set of four, and, then, and they're so highly collectible. And tomato, uh, onion, and mushroom. I saw these upwards of nine ninety five a piece on Etsy, so oh, wow. I thought eighteen ninety five was a really great deal for four of them. Becky says her grandma used to have those mugs in the eighties. Nice. All right, so this is a Utah mug. It's got some pioneers on it, and it talks about this is the place. Um, when they the uh, the pioneers landed in Salt Lake, and they stopped. They stopped going west. <laughs> they decided this was they'd gone far enough, and it was kind of a desolate desert. Sagebrush all Sage, over the yeah. place, like no no trees or anything really down in the valley, unless it was by a river. Yep. So this is the, and it's got like pioneers on there, kind of like the Lehigh pioneers. Anyway, yeah. so eight ninety five, a little vintage stoneware mug. I believe that one was made yep. in Japan. Was it say on the bottom? No. It was a dollar. I don't know. Maybe not. No, not this one. That's fun. I think it's fun if you have tourists that come to your store or your booth to have some vintage oh. tourist 
items because a lot of times they do want to buy those things and take them back. But even cooler if they bought a vintage tourist item from a vintage shop. So definitely keep that in mind. Um, and we have a lot of people that travel and stop by our store. So I saw that today and I'm like, ooh, I'm going to start looking for vintage Utah stuff because that'd be fun. So these are 1977 Stoneware and Nesco. Live better naturally. Um, where's the price? A dollar each. But they've got a little crazing on there, but the inside is super solid still. It's still good to go. Um, and we're selling them for $13.95 for the pair. Those are like cottage core to the max. Also, I think, were those made in Japan? No, it doesn't. they're in Esco. I don't know. Oh, okay, no, that's made. Um, yeah, sure. We have three more things to show. Okay. Maybe this. This is false graph. <laughs> Kaylin is singing, or, or Kaylin. Odelia is singing a song about Utah. Utah people working together. Utah, what a great place to be. <laughs> you you want to come sing it for them? Did you sing this when you were in well, Hope uh, of America? Hope of America. When in the fifth grade here, everybody performs in the Hope of America. Eliza missed it because of, of COVID. So hopefully Redrick gets to perform. Harrington did it. Odelia did it. And they have the same songs they've been singing for like 30 years. And there's a song. And that's what Caitlin put in here. All right. So this is false graph. And I don't know that I've ever seen this false graph design. Now, granted, I'm not a false graph connoisseur. <laughs> but we find the blue and the gray stoneware all the time. This I've not seen. It's got like uh, holly berries. and berries. It's kind of like a cottage core floral whatever situation. I'd say it's pretty close to a one cup measuring cup, but it's got the, uh, it's, the it's for pouring. It's like a creamer. Let me see and get it to focus. There we go. Nicole says, thanks to us and our pointer. She's a proud owner of her own boutique. That Yay. is awesome. That makes me excited. Les wants to start a prayer chain for the people affected by their tornadoes. That is a very good idea. Thank you, Les, for that. Um, oh, War Warana Nungumbai noticed your seven o'clock shadow. Oh, we were wondering how long that was going to take. I decided it'd be hot if you grew a little facial scrub, so we're going to try it out. I'm going to start wearing flannel, too, so, you know. And some Carhartt pants. Get the carpenter <laughs> she vibe was, going. Well, what happened is she was shopping the other day, and she's like, I think you'd look good in some flannel and some Carhartts. I'm like, I don't know. I, I wear t-shirts and jeans, like, predominantly, and occasionally some sweatpants or joggers. Um, <laughs> but I've always, I, I used to actually grow a beard in high school. Like, I turned 14, and my facial hair came in real nice and thick, like a like a full-grown man started at 14. From his head down to his face. I was going bald in high school, but I could grow a mean beard, and so I did, often. And I haven't really grown one since, because... She doesn't like the prickly feel, so I don't get hey, a lot of kisses. I'm the one kissing if you, I have so beard. I... So I, you know, I keep that thing clean shaven because I got to get the kisses. Anyways, <laughs> so that's why we're testing it out to see how we like it. So it's this not, is it's not going to be any like giant beard situation, though. No, I don't like there that. There will be either. none of that. So this is stamped six ninety one. It's uh, Manning Brown and Company. Meridi Meriden, Connecticut. It's kind of faint. Made in USA, but it's MB means best for Manning Manning Bowman. Oh, Bowman, not Brown. Uh, we're selling it for six ninety five. It was a dollar. A dollar. And wait, I, did no, we it's have this six ninety five? Yeah, I was gonna sell it for eight ninety five last week, but this week I finally listed it at six ninety five. Oh, we didn't have it listed because I have written on. Yeah, here that's from that thrift store we went to. Well, I hope there's not two listings in there for it. They said false graph winterberry. That's the name of that pattern. All right. There you go. Speaking of kissing, that is the perfect leaning into these next. So I'm going to full disclaimer. When we got it, grandpa was so excited he lost his head. And so we have glued that back on. But wait, watch. Wait, wait, wait. It's their salt and pepper shakers. Grandpa's the salt and grandma's the pepper. I thought it was weird because like they have right. magnets in their mouth and grandma looked weird. And then I realized, what? <laughs> so anyways, they're kissing salt and pepper shakers. But I just want to disclaim to you that we did have to um, fix grandpa's neck. Oh, Jerry said his wife is going to love the soup mugs. Hey, Jerry, happy wife, happy life. Okay. It's not coming in, but they uh, they got these big old magnets in their mouth. But it's fun. Yeah, they're super fun. Good job, Jerry. Let's see. What did Shelly get? 
Okay, I'm oh, gonna go she's grab got the cottage floral bowl. I'm gonna go grab a towel so we can paint. Ooh, ooh, let's I'll paint. be right back. And we've sold a few of these shirts already. So um yeah, if we sell out, like if you look and you can't get your size, click where it says notify me when back in stock, and then I'll put in a second order. Whenever I'm ordering, this is a new vendor for the first time. I usually order pretty light just to make sure the quality's there and that I like it. But I've actually worn this shirt. This is my second day. <laughs> and I really do like it. Oh, Virginia, I'm glad that you were safe from those tornadoes. That is so scary. So, so scary. Um, Audrey says, my husband grew a beard when he asked the youngest granddaughter for a kiss. She said, no hair. <laughs> they learn young. All right. It's funny. Everybody's putting, oh, super chat from the distressed darling. Any updates on the TV show? So this last week we got to watch the sizzle reel that they put together. And that was really, really fun to see somebody else edit our footage um, and pull together basically a marketing promo. That's what a sizzle reel is because they send it to the networks. We're going to leave this um, here like that. But they aren't going to actually be submitting it to the networks until January because apparently Hollywood shuts down between Thanksgiving and Christmas and all their budgets are gone. So the beginning of the year, um, they open back up and they have their budgets for the year. So that's really when you want to pitch it. So we'll probably have more of an update then. They actually only have until the end of January to sell the show. So I'm sure that once January hits, the production company is going to get their rear in gear. All right. Show them all these new stencils. I think there's nine of them. And talk to them about them. It only comes in black. That's all they make it in. I was just glad to find it because... They're hard a, to find. I can't find it, A. And B, I actually really like black. 90% of the t-shirts in my closet are black or gray. Okay. So these are Mara's new stencils. Um, let's see, can you guys, I'm going to have Deb do it because he has longer arms, but I want to use, in my mind, I knew which one. Oh, wow. That's a bigger design than I thought. Well, I, if this design fits, I want to use this one. It's kind of, I know that Leslie does kind of a modified boho farmhouse. So I think this would be good. Would actually be really pretty in Hey Sailor with a white. What do you think? This one? Oh, Will that fit in there? Leslie, do you want Hey Sailor on here? We can, can make you? it happen. Will this fit? I'm gonna go grab. Yeah, I can. I can. That'll get fit it in exactly. There. Like that's I mean, it's a little. Right it a little. It bows a little bit, but so I'm going to go get the drill. Yeah, I don't want to paint those because I like I'll, the tarnish. I'll, yeah, the brass is good. And then once I'm gonna get started painting this. Okay, let me get you the Hey Sailor first. <laughs> is it over there? Did I put the hay sailor over there? Oh, it says only says add to wish list. Leslie, I'm sorry. I will um, try and remember to just email you because I know we have an email. Or I'll just message you on Facebook. What happens when there's an item picture but not listed for sale? Bo, which item can you not find? We'll help you try to find it. All okay. right, start painting the top. I'll get Leslie those unscrewed. Is, hey, she she says, hey, sailor, yes. Okay. I'm guessing that's what she said. She didn't say no, hey, sailor. So, hey, sailor is how it's going. I'm going to paint the inside first because we've got to get that dry so we can stencil it. All right. Hey, sailor is what I just painted my mom's nightstand with. If you guys watched our Waste Not Wednesday, that was last Wednesday. She came home and she's like, oh, I love it. We've got to get her headboard up. We used a new IOD paint inlay for her headboard. And um, it matches Hey Sailor almost perfectly. So I didn't die. I almost, I did trip though. My mom heard that fall. Did, was that my mom? That was Odelia. It was Odelia. Oh. She's in on the couch. We're going to have to do two coats on this because it's kind of slick where the. Oh, where the, uh, the other design was. Design was. But I wanted to paint in there first because that's got to dry. Well, I will go grab the heat gun. Okay. Thanks, can you guys see that okay? Yeah, you can the see it The old vintage t-shirt in a 2X. You got it, Leslie. As soon as I'm done, I will um, put in a, a reorder because I know we've sold quite a few of these tonight. They, the good news is they shipped relatively fast. These days, you just never know. There you go. You guys can see that a little better there. Yeah. 
I'm gonna paint the little shelf. The black wasn't bad. It'll be a great base. In fact, you got it all turned so they can't see. Sorry, what you're doing. I had to just. She's putting paint on there. I'm just swiping the paint. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna show them once you get started stenciling. I'll show them the other stencils. Okay. Because I gotta get them close so they can see the designs. So if you're just tuning in and you want to buy this paint, it's Hey Sailor. You can buy it at jamierayvintage.com. And we're going to be stenciling it with a new stencil from Vintage Retail Therapy. Mara does design work for us and has her own line of stencils. And those just got launched on our website as well at jamierayvintage.com. Odelia wants to show her mug that she made. Okay. Yeah, I don't care. Hi, she's Tom she's been Fisher. having fun with uh pottery Oop. and tom's bride if she felt how are you doing in arkansas that's another place i saw that was affected by the tornadoes she put eyeballs all on the mug we all i'm like I, I asked her i'm like why did you why did you go with eyeballs she's like i don't know she didn't have a reason you can come show it farther about the away. All-seeing eye in the Bible. I thought it's it was not biblical. All eye. It's just eyeballs, but yeah, it's not. Are you sure? Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah, that's all. <laughs> that's my cute Odelia. She's my my new driver, so she does a lot of my errand running. If you guys ordered milk paint during the milk paint sale, chances are Odelia picked it up. <laughs> yep, her and Eliza ran out and got it for us. They also got dinner. And clocked in. All right, that's ready for more paint in the middle. I think you can get another coat on there. A lot of times with Hey Sailor, one coat is good, but it was kind of shiny. Are we going to do white wax on there or are we going to uh, leave it? Clear wax. Clear wax. I've been loving the clear wax lately on the Hey Sailor. I think white wax. Is it's pretty. just a really good blue. Like it doesn't need. I don't want to tone it back. It doesn't need a lot of help. It's It's good on its own. Um, be careful, Deb, you're drying it faster than I want. Oh, did I get it too hot? No, okay. um, be careful when you're putting a second coat on. If you push too hard or overwork the paint, you can pull off that first coat because this particular paint is activated by water until it's sealed. Hey, Stephanie. Um, so, you know, we, we disclaim this pretty much every video. We use the heat gun. We're using it so that we can get the project done fast in a live stream. If you're at home, just let your piece dry. Guys, or if you're in a hurry, you know, heat gun it. It's preferred to just let it air dry. Tom says they just got wind. And Les says she bought pink milk paint to do a bed. Oh, awesome. The, is it first crush, Les? Because the first crush is good. I think Les bought tickled pink, if I remember correctly. Oh, tickled correctly. pink is also good. They're not, neither one of those are like in your face pinks. Yeah, I saw the order come through. I don't see every order, but sometimes I'll recognize a name and then I got to see what they bought. Oops, I got some on the counter. It'll be okay. It's water it's soluble. Bubbling. It's, bubbling. it's water soluble. It's okay. I'm going to stencil it. It's water soluble and bleach cleaner will take it off the camera. If you ordered something from last week's thrift haul and it had to get painted, it will actually be finished up and shipped out Monday or Tuesday. Because we had to go pick up my parents this week, our our week got cut short by about two days plus one day for yeah. Recovery. We left Wednesday pretty much about an hour after the live the live stream. The waste not Wednesday. Yeah, so we did. Our and that was the call that I was talking to you guys about that Jamie got right before the uh, we went live. So we were. Someone said that we weren't as energetic. We we had we were like oh 20 hours in the car, 22 well, hours. Well, I just in found out my sister was sick, so that was stressful. And we we're trying to figure out if we were gonna have my parents stay or pick my parents up. Is this and the one you so, wanted? Yep. So it was just a little bit crazy, but with the show went on and we picked them up and then we drove till 10 30. We got there at yeah. night. And then the next morning we picked them up and then it took a little bit longer to get home because there was a lot of potty breaks. So this is it. sideways, Jamie. This isn't the one. Yeah, I was just going to put it sideways. Okay. I, that it'll works. Look good. It will look good. All right. So it's going to go a little high up top, but sometimes I like to take... What if I do this like this, Jamie? Oh, Bo sent me a picture. That is mercury glass, and I'm 99% sure 
that that sold. I'm going to look that up for you, Bo, while Zepp's painting that. Okay. Can you guys see? Okay. Yeah. You can see the stenciling good. Where's my white swan? Did I not grab yes. white swan? Oh, Les got tickled pink and creamy. All right, Bo, that did sell. I thought it did because I remember getting it all to the shop. All right. While he's doing that, I'm going to show you guys. I don't know, know if they can know see. If they can see. It's probably just going to look like plastic. Uh, they can kind of see. Here, hold it back towards me a little. Up. All right. There you go. You're good. Okay. So these are the faces that Mara made. These are going to be fun if for like, I think these would be great to get started with and then add your own detail to that. Yeah. And that's what she said when she designed them. Like that was her plan. And then here's this gorgeous border. Mara loves layers. I love this one is music notes and then also French script for um, what song was that said? Amazing Grace. So this is Amazing Grace in French and the music notes and you can layer them, but you got to be careful to get them in between the lines. So that one's really fun. I'm pouncing Great. instead of swirling because this is just a little too big for the inset here. So I don't want to swirl and go up underneath the stencil because the stencil is only down while I'm over the top pouncing. This is a big thick damask border. If you want to see these, um, a better idea of them, you can go to the website at jamierayvintage.com and you can look up the Mara's stencils there and you can find them. So this is a half circle, so you can make a full circle. So it'd be great um, as a medallion. You can even stencil on a ceiling would be cool. And then it's got a circular one too. I don't know if they can see these. We'll have to use them all. And then this is the corners as well as a B and a crown and a fleur-de-lis. They can see that design that you're showing. And then this is lace and it is gorgeous and they all have registration marks so that way you can do repeating patterns. So I'm sure Caitlin's already linked them, but Caitlin, if you haven't, can you link the new stencils? Um, Leslie, what is the stencil called? Which one? <laughs> I actually didn't write the names down on these. These are prototypes, but Caitlin, can you link Mara's new stencils on here for Leslie? And then you can look them up and see them. All right, I'm going to swirl a little because my stencil's all the way down. And it's definitely a faster method if your stencil's all the way down. So one of the things, did you talk to him about offloading? Uh, yeah, you can see me offloading over here. So when you're stenciling, a couple of things. You want a nice thick stencil, which JRV stencils are super, super thick. I made them that way so you can use them over and over again. A stencil brush with a nice stiff bristle. What number stencil brush are you using? This is the number, this is the one inch. One inch stencil brush. So this is the JRV stencil brush. And then you want to make sure that you're offloading. So you're going to take that paint almost all the way off to where your brush feels dry. That'll help keep the paint from going up underneath your stencil. Thank you, Caitlin. So Caitlin just dropped the link there, Leslie. If you click on that, you can see all the names for all the new stencils. We will get through them and use them over the next few weeks. See if there's any questions while we're on here. I think we're going to get away with one coat since this the rest of this was black and we weren't covering up a pattern or a picture. Uh, one coat of the Hay Sailor is going to do it on this. Oh, somebody just bought the grandma and grandpa kissing. I knew those would go. They're, they're great. They're so cute. Sherry got those. Good job, Cher. Oh, they're going all the way to Canada. <laughs> That's going to require lots of bubble wrap. We got this. All right, I'm about two thirds of the way done here. It's going pretty quick. Linda loves your hat decor. For whatever reason, Zeb has a really scruffy neck and his Adam's apple going up and down always. He tries to wear his mic and it makes it scratchy. So this is the better to hear you with or vice versa. <laughs> oh, what stencil is Zeb using? Um, no, I'm gonna have to look them up. There's, the, I put the link to the, oh, that's not really gonna help people. All right, let me look it up here. I saw you were tempted to look it up on the computer. I'm like, don't do it. No, yeah, I almost. <laughs> you almost clicked out of the, the stream. I almost clicked out, and then I was like, nope, I thought better of that one. Okay, let me find this one. So this uses such a little amount of paint because you're essentially dry brushing the stencil on. This is the Musical Damask. <clears throat> Sorry, so Musical Damask is the name of the stencil that Zep is using. 
I got um, I got a little bit of shifting going, but I think it's gonna I think it'll be okay. Oh, Cynthia says she sent a package to New Zealand is $189. New Zealand is way more spendy than Canada. <laughs> but yep. Canada can be spendy. We gotta we gotta package things just right so they A arrive alive, but B don't cost two million dollars. Um, Ty and Mariah will probably help out at the church. Um, it just kind of depends. That's one of the things with getting having a show produced. There's kind of some nuances involved there, but I'm sure they will. And Harrington will um, as well because he's going to be living in the little cottage in the back. And they um, interviewed him because they, they wanted him. to see our 19-year-old kid. All right. So I want to paint. I don't like the way that's come up over the side Okay. There. You're going to paint that? Yeah, I'm going to paint Here, that. Here, let me show you what she's talking about. So there it is stenciled. We went sideways with it. It actually is meant to go vertical, but I feel like it works. Well, it fills the space really good. And, oh, I missed some over here too. All right, so we're gonna let this dry completely. Oops, where do we get? Oh, right there. It's, I, I flipped it on you, so it's okay. We'll have top. to do two coats to cover up that white. Then we'll lightly distress the edges and clear wax it. And then we'll put those brass knobs on there. And I think that it's gonna look really, really good. We got like eight minutes before we gotta go get all the kids to bed. Do you wanna paint this? Uh, um, the candlestick. Yeah, we can. I'm, I don't want to do it. Okay, hey, sailor though. No, I have skeleton key out. I also have farm fresh. <clears throat> what color did we paint the last one? I think we did skeleton skeleton key, key so on the last farm one. Farm fresh. Okay. Kai says, Leslie says it might go in her bathroom. I think once we distress it, I'll like the stencil even a little bit more. It's a little bit like in your face right now with the white and the navy, but it yeah. looks better. What is with the musical notes stencil? What did you want to know, Les? What is with the musical notes stencil? I don't know. All right. Okay. There's that. I'm going to move this out of the harm's way. So I'm not going to paint it right now because I actually really need to scrub this. But eventually, this is probably going to get painted like a cream color, I think. Here, let but me I see if I can get the dust the, off of it. Um, I'm going to use a lint roller, I think. Oh. That'll be the easiest way to get the dust off of it before I paint it, because I don't want to paint over dust. That's not the kind of texture I'm looking for. Do we have a brush? Can you pass me that around one over there? Yep. Thank you. All right. Rooster's going to get painted. It's funny because it's good. it covers really well on the rooster, but it's a lot more slick on this um, candlestick portion of it. And so that was like cross-threaded in there. It's going to require two coats there. Well, that's cute. Here, I think you can see the stencil a little better now that it's painted. I, I think it would go like that. Yeah, there you go. Let me move can it you in. share the musical note stencil? Can you show that one for less while I'm painting them? Um... I can't. It's over there in that pile. Oh. Okay. This one with Amazing Grace. Yep. In French. So it's got the notes up above, then down below it's got the French script for the words, and then registration marks if you want to repeat it. Let me pull it out of the plastic. I'm going to see the end light on the shade. I think that could be fun. I'm not really sure. Um, I'm not really sure though, if that I'm looking for a piece of paper so I can show you, Oh, I, I maybe it'll work against the white. You could just put paint all over. <laughs> I could just brush paint on it. So that Les just wants to see it. <clears throat> um, it's just so shiny. It's hard. No, that's not working. Nope. I'm going to open this box up and then it'll work. All right. On the How dark. about that? Maybe should have done this from the start when you were showing all of them. Well, I was trying to show them the sticker. It's hard because we thought about tinting the mylar so that way they show up better. However, um, that it then it makes it harder to layer your stencils, which people do a ton, and we do. You like want to see what's underneath it, so we decided, even though it might display better, to not do that. Stick with the clear. 
so that you can. Because I don't want to like. I do want people to be able to see them when they're like gonna buy them, but I also don't want to like inhibit the usefulness of the stencil. You know, you, you want to be able to layer. And we could get fancy packaging made, but you know, oddly enough, manufacturing stencils in the U.S. instead of in like China is super spendy. So we have to be really careful. It is more important to me that we manufacture in the U.S. All right, now let's see if you can see what this looks like. Yeah, I think that's a little better. Less glaring. No, not that much better. <laughs> I think you can see it a little bit better. Oh, there we go. You can see the notes and the words up underneath. Less. It's just reflecting almost like a mirror. Oh, there you go. But it's got the bars and the notes and... Then it's in French, Amazing Grace in French. All right, this is gonna definitely need two coats. Did you get the dust off of that so I can paint it? Oh, I will. I don't have a lint roller. I can try with like a paper towel. We have towel. a white color. Yeah, I've got white swan out. Not everything we sell is made in the U.S., but everything that has that I manufacture is put together here in the U.S. Sometimes the parts like certain portions of it are imported well, for the manufacturing process. If you guys are in but. sales at all, you realize like how hard it is to get stuff here and made here in the U S because all the U S companies are making stuff overseas in their own factories because it's just, it's cheaper. That's why it took me so long to have my stencil brushes made when we left the manufacturer we were at because everywhere that makes stencil brushes is pretty much not in the U S. This is working pretty well. Good. I'm just going to paint it white. You just want it white swan? Yeah. And I know we have people here from other countries. I think where it's always good if you can make things in the country, if, if it's possible that you live in, because then it's less um, like travel time too. All right, I'm going in. I'm just going to use my stencil brush. It'll work well. Think so? Yep. Okay. Because the fabric just soaks it up. What you really just painting it? white. All right, be careful that you don't get hay sailor along the bottom. It'll be okay. I can go back over it if I need to. Covering that might be a pain, but. The stencil brush is actually working really well to get down in this, this like uh, trim that's on the top. Kai says, I clean lampshades with a chip brush. That is awesome. So I'm going to let this air dry. I probably won't get another coat on here. But what I will wind up doing is I'll put a second coat um, and then white wax it. And even white waxing here on this middle part, because it had like this alligator texture, um, I think that that'll kind of show up. And then all the details that are in this um, rooster just really pop when you wax it. Oh, is that the? Oh, are we, are we on again? Yep. Okay, I'll fix it. It just doesn't focus good when it does that. Well, so it's decoupage of bureau and stencil music notes saying over the print, what print on decoupage? I don't know. You'd have to be careful if you use decoupage and then did the music notes over the top that it wasn't too busy. I'm trying to think if I was going to do it, if you put, did like the cottage floral that we have and did like a heavy distress and then the music notes and like a weathered wood, that would be cool. Yeah, they need to be something dark. Um, whatever you do, the, it needs to not be super busy. And then if you have a lighter colored paper, you'd want to do a darker colored paint. Are the stencil brushes domed? No, they are flat on the top. So that way it, it's nice and stiff. So that way it's see, good for stenciling. See yeah. how flat that is? No, they're not domed at all. So this is the one and a quarter. I'm using the one inch, and then this is the half inch. I brought it because I didn't know what stencil Jamie was going to pick, and I didn't know how small it would be. This one would actually probably work really well with the music notes one because everything is so small, and the script is really small as well. We did not water the paint down um, for the lamp. Uh, I don't need I'm it not going to be gonna soft. sitting on it, so I don't care what the... Yeah, if you, if you water it down, that kind of helps the fabric stay pliable and moves and stays soft. This, if it gets crunchy... It'll be out. And then, um, what's another question? 
no, this is clay based paint. So it is not self leveling. Um, self leveling agents, what what's required to make something self leveling is not all natural. So any paint that has that has to have some sort of chemical agent in there to do the self leveling. DIY paint is only nine ingredients, one of which is love. <laughs> and so it's really all eight. natural. <laughs> so really eight and some love. Um, and so there's no, it's not self-leveling because of that. Not that there's anything wrong with self-leveling, but I like to let people know. It's super pigmented, can, so it works like, good. In this case, I'm not going to worry about sanding this smooth because it's got so much going on. It's not going to matter. But if it was like a dresser, you can sand it with a random orbital and like 220 and really sand out a lot of the brush. And it's fast. You. It powders like really easily. Yeah, it's like buttery smooth if you sand it. Or you can also spray this paint and get a really smooth texture. Yep. We haven't sprayed in a while just because. It takes know, a lot of space. You got to set up the garage. You got to yeah. set up the sprayer, which once you're set up, you can do like 20 pieces in a day. Yes, Susie is on Facebook, Leslie. She's like, who's Susie? I'm not saying this. <laughs> Will the shade be hard? It um, might be it's gonna a little more stiff. like leather. Yeah. When you're when it's all done. Ooh, a new channel member, the Distressed Darlin. Um, make sure that you are checking out Community Distressed Darlin. We will be going live Tuesday, probably Tuesday morning, if I remember correctly, because mm -hmm. we have business coaching in the afternoon. But we post in community when we do our special channel member lives. So you'll be able to scroll back through. And if you see the for channel members only kind of icon that's on the post, then you know it's a channel member live video or a channel member printable. All right. You guys, it's we're a little past time. We got to get the kids to bed. We got to do the advent and read scriptures with them. So this is the lampshade. Let me put it up here up top so you guys can see. Oh, I still got to paint this, but... The little, the, the little finial. I don't know that they'll see that. I feel like top. it totally. The other color wasn't. I'll, I'll pan up but... so you guys can see it a little better. The red wasn't terrible. It just, once we painted it, it was like kind of garish. Yeah. This is more our style. And if I do have any bleed through on it, which I don't think I will, I'll hit it up with Salvation Solution and then do some more white over the top of that. All right, guys. It's been fun hanging out. Thanks for joining us for the thrift haul. Um, if you guys are interested in shopping, jamierayvintage.com for the paint products and items you saw tonight. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Love you guys. Have a great weekend. And if you guys have been in the tornado affected area, just know we're praying for you and we hope you're safe.